Philly is known for having one of the grimiest music scenes known to man. Specifically, Philly Drill brings the next level to Crash Dummy activity. We've seen Drill from all over the world getting co-signed and it seems like nobody is going as crazy and as violent and as Crash Dummy type as the Philly Drill scene. Things are so insane that recently a video of one of the most popular Philly Drill rappers YBC Doe reportedly digging up dirt at a grave site that he claimed to be an op had just gone on viral. Just thinking for a minute if that was real, it would definitely be the most disrespectful and outright madness I've ever seen. Like, imagine the ops take out your mans and they go dig him up and drop a video of it on IG. It was never confirmed whether or not the viral video was real, however something that is very real is the ongoing war in Philly that have many from YBC and surrounding neighborhoods losing their lives for the past couple years. A war that's been ongoing that somehow involves one major gang against a clique of like five to six gangs all hell bent on destroying each other with no end in sight. Man, we gotta talk about the war in Philly that claimed the lives on many sides within YBC and CCK and apparently has YBC Duel ready to crash out on social media right now. But before we do, I'm gonna need you to do something for me, man. Run up this video, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so whenever I post, y'all tune in right away. Hit that link in the description at staysafeworld.com to go tap in with that merch, man. Let's get into this right now. Let's get it. If the Grammys had a crash out of the year award, no doubt in my mind, I'd have to name YBC Duel as tribute. You know, the very vocal YBC member who literally states his mission to be as disrespectful as possible. Straight made headlines pretty much on some nationwide with a viral video basically depicting him digging up a grave site in a cemetery. Although this could be seen as a way to just go straight viral, it was no doubt who this message was really sent for. The west side of Philly has essentially turned into a complete and utter war zone from the YBC aka Young Bag Chasers first becoming hunters and slowly becoming the hunted in a series of high profile shootings that even put the DA Larry Krasner on notice. Today we want to send a very clear message to the members of O2-4. The same. The same goes for the people they have been fighting with, the young bag chasers. The wild beef that has YBC has around with their surrounding neighborhoods with a series of gangs that essentially clicked up to take them out has claimed dozens of lives. And honestly, it's a straight miracle that YBC Dole is straight standing here able to make that video with all that has happened in the past couple years with members from both sides getting gunned down like their lives don't even matter to him even getting shot. The DA Larry Krasner even went on an all out media blitz to not only say he's trying to indict everyone from both gangs, but also sending a message that he's coming for anyone who's even associated with the gangs. As you can see by the video, the beef has been ongoing within the city of Philadelphia and it's straight insane. Bruh, even says in a Say Cheese interview that his crew is the reason for there being 500 murders in Philadelphia just in 2022, making it one of the most dangerous cities in the world. Man, we gotta get into the next chapter of how a beef might destroy the city right now with YBC versus everybody. Let's get into it. To understand how things even got this deep in the streets of Philadelphia, you gotta go all the way back. Philly was always a dangerous place. However, people are not even really aware of how dangerous Philly has become just over the last couple years. 2022 marked one of the dangerous years on record with over 500 homicides, which is pretty unheard of for a city of its size. With previous years before 2021, reaching around 300 or so homicides per year, this was an extremely high uptick that was kinda out of control. Many within the community felt that the responsibility of this huge uptick in murders was due to the rise of drill rap. As drill rap scenes began springing up in many cities, Philly had its own rise of a new version of the crazy and dark genre that began making waves around 2020. Many people tend to think that the violence within the city of Philadelphia is more concentrated towards North Philly. However, the ongoing situation between West Philly gangs like YBC and CCK have been dominating the Philly drill scene. YCB gang aka the Young Bag Chasers are a gang centered around the 4 
42nd to 43rd and Mantua Avenue area of West Philly. The area was extremely hectic with neighborhood gangs beefing that are only a couple blocks away. YBC started to form and make a name for itself after the high profile shooting of one of his young members, Josh. On Wednesday, May 29th, 2019, Joshua David Munson was along the 4200 block of Wyalusing Avenue in Philadelphia's Parkside section. At 1.40 p.m., police were called to the area for a person with a gun. Upon arrival, police observed the victim, who was later ID'd as Joshua Munson. He was suffering from multiple gunshot wounds and was taken to Presbyterian Hospital where he was listed in critical condition. Unfortunately, the 18-year-old died from his injuries on May 31st. Josh is how they originally had the name Josh World in memory of him when he was unfortunately slayed in 2019. On May 29th, 2019, Joshua David Munson was along the 4200 block of Wasseling Avenue in Philadelphia's Parkside section. At 1.40 p.m., police were called to an area for a person with a gun. At the time of the shooting, Police say that a black male around 24 and 25 years old wearing blue shorts and a white tank top parked a gold Dodge Ram pickup on the corner of 42nd Street and Mantua Avenue, just around the corner from Munson. Police say the man exited the truck, jogged to Wasseling Avenue. They say that he then ran back to the truck immediately following the shooting and drove westbound on Mantua. Josh would be in the hospital in critical condition but unfortunately died from his injuries in the hospital two days later. This brings us to the next chapter. Basically from that point on, Josh World or YBC Young Bad Chasers slowly turned from a loose group of childhood friends from the same area to a full out gang embroiled with beasts with other areas with notable rappers such as J100 and YBC Duel and a bunch of others honestly. In their rise to notoriety in Philly, there were several high profile incidents where people got murked and somehow became names that were mentioned in songs along the way. For instance, the infamous situation that happened with Buddy, aka Nyferic Hawkins, a 20 year old that was gunned down at a basketball park in West Philly. Police responded to the 3900 block of Olive Street for a report of a person with a gun. Upon their arrival, officers quickly discovered that a shooting occurred and found an unresponsive man who had been struck by gunfire multiple times. He was transported to a nearby hospital by police. Unfortunately, the victim, later identified as 20-year-old Nyferic Hawkins, succumbed to his injuries and was pronounced dead at 545. No arrests had been made and the investigation was ongoing. Various news reports have indicated that the shooting occurred at a basketball game. Although he died, his story doesn't end there because he became a frequent topic within YBC songs, especially someone who YBC Doe mentioned repeatedly throughout his music as Buddy. This seemed to have a lasting effect in the neighborhood. And along with this, and a shooting at a crowded barbecue around 38th Street that injured a notorious shooter from the 39th Street gang named Sid, AKA Fro. This incident marked a newly established gang war in Philly between YBC and 39th Street. While Sid was able to survive this attempt on his life, he became a major problem for YBC and many others that went down in attempts to take him out and it's some of the craziest most crash out activity that anyone could imagine. Unfortunately, the next move would be tragic for YBC where a beloved member by the name of Rashawn Hall aka BL was gunned down in the Belmont neighborhood. A Philadelphia police say a 21 year old man was shot and killed execution style in Belmont. It happened at Belmont and Westminster Avenues around 930. Investigators say the gunman fired 15 shots at the victim near his house. They are looking for a tan car seen speeding away from that area. So far no arrests or motive in this. Police say a 21 year old man was shot multiple times in the head and killed Philadelphia's Belmont neighborhood. It happened at 900 block of Belmont Avenue around 9.30 p.m. Police say the victim was shot multiple times in the head and was pronounced dead at the scene. Investigators say the gunman fired 15 shots at the victim near his house. Apparently, Sid from the 39th Street took responsibility for this shooting as a get back for the earlier incident that went down with YBC, which leads us to the craziest part of this whole gang war. The search for Big 3-9, chapter four. Shortly after this incident, Sid, AKA Big 39, decided to lie low and leave the city for some period of time after his family 
apparently saw how hot the gang life was slowly catching up to him. After a shooting against another YBC member named Lil Moo, unfortunately, Lil Moo was a close friend of another infamous YBC member who's currently behind bars, Curry. You can guess why his name is Curry. Young Bull was a straight shooter, apparently. The story gets even crazier, but we're gonna talk more about Curry later. While this was happening, another gang that had close ties to the 39th Street was just blocks away and ended up clicking with 39th Street, forming the first alliance against YBC that would soon grow. Around this time, YBC was starting to get a lot of name recognition within the city after continuously dissing through songs along the way. I guess in their heads, they saw that they were basically getting clout from dissing people and they were, you know, doing drills anyway, so they might as well profit off of it. Allegedly, they were still looking for Sid despite the fact that his family was continuously relocating him throughout the city. Eventually, Sid was arrested and when YBC heard the news, they tried to camp out, take Sid out once he got out of jail, but unfortunately, they got the wrong guy and killed a 20 year old who was released from prison on accident after getting an incorrect news that he had been released that day. Although this was tragic, the next thing that would go down would actually be just as bad, if not worse. In May 2021, apparently Sid was released and put on house arrest. YBC allegedly got the drop on his location again and fired shots at him, accidentally wounding his little sister who was just six years old in the process. I would Susan Six, and we are streaming live on CBS in Philly. Hello, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Cartalia. A six year old girl is hospitalized after being shot in West Philadelphia. It happened this afternoon on Wyalusing Avenue, and we're told the girl was outside playing with her friends when a group of men ran up and opened fire. She was. The crazy thing about these beefs in Philly is it seems like bystanders end up being free game for these shooters, and many times random people are injured and even gunned down in the process. It's almost like a literal war zone. However, as things were looking pretty dire for Sid, it seemed that another gang would soon join the mini clicks mounting against YBC. And this is where O to the 4 gets involved. On Thursday, March 11, 2021, at 3.04 p.m., four people were shot on the 1400 block of North 76th Street. Police officers arrived to the scene and learned that all four victims had been taken to Locanal Hospital in two private vehicles. Tamir Brown had been shot multiple times. Unfortunately, Tamir died from his wounds that evening and Tamir Brown was infamous in the streets by his rap name Lil Mir. Lil Mir was cool with a lot of members from 39th Street and a, his apparent killer allegedly had some type of ties to YBC. And guess who went and started dissing this man right after he got gunned down? YBC Duel? and other YBC members began dissing Lil Mir shortly after this incident in many songs and on social media. This is how the infamous gang O to the 4 ended up getting involved and clicking up with 39th Street as a means for revenge for their fallen member. This would not be good for YBC and we'll get into how this affected the gang later on the timeline. But basically, imagine already three gangs within a small area are looking to take out one gang. The situation already does not bode well for YBC off rip, with several members getting shot shortly after this incident. One of the craziest incidents was the shooting of Nazir Marks, an affiliate of YBC getting gunned down shortly followed by the shooting of Kanye Pittman just 30 minutes later, who was apparently cool with one of those op groups. Teenager is shot and killed just weeks before his high school graduation. He's among three teenagers struck by gunfire in the city last night. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo with more on these crimes that once again involve teenagers. 18 year old was shot multiple times on the 3900 block of Poplar Street in West Philly around 7.30 Tuesday night and later died. Police also rushed to a separate second shooting around 8 o'clock Tuesday night when officers found 15 year old Kanye Pittman fatally shot on the 2500 block of Sydenham Street in North Philly. This guy ended up getting named in many songs by YBC Duel and YBC as Young Bull from the Back Block. Straight crash out activities, bro. I swear you cannot make this up just naming people who they know were killed in songs. However, things would get a lot more difficult for YBC when a tragic incident brought even more gangs together against them. CCK versus YBC. On July 21st, 2021, Kaylin Jihad Johnson would get gunned down while driving a car with a 5-6 street member and a 2-4 to the four members in the car. Apparently, 
YBC member Curry, aka Arshad Curry, or 30, would later get charged for the shooting. But this would cause 56th Street with notable rappers Young Livy and with O to the 4 with notable rapper Lil Bucks clicking up against YBC. These groups ended up ganging up for the sole purpose of going against YBC, changing the name of their supergroup to CCK, aka The Clappers, which is O to the 4, with The Campers, which is 56th Street, to The Other Clappers, spelled with a K, with a gang based out of South Philly. Not to mention, Ultra the Four already had a relationship with 39th Street that was basically gonna have YBC down bad. However, shortly before everything went to shit for YBC, it seems like they finally got their gig back on a member who was tormenting them for years. The end of Big 3-9. It seems like they finally got their gig back on a member who was tormenting them for years. And one of the craziest crash out incidents that you can imagine. It seems that YBC finally caught up to Big 3-9. But in the process, the youngest crash out shooter, Curry, aka 30, was caught up after apparently shooting at the police. I swear, bro, you cannot make this up. Violence in Philadelphia has torn a family apart and put police in harm's way. Police were going after a suspect in a double shooting that killed a 19-year-old man when they came under fire themselves. Two gunmen walked up to a front porch on the 2900 block of Weichel Street in the Port Richmond section last night. Police say the pair started shooting through a screen door. The teenager was fatally shot, along with a 49-year-old man believed to be his father. Police arrived on the scene quickly and were alerted to an area where people said a suspect had fled that's when they themselves faced that gunfire at around 8 15 p.m on the 2900 block of wakil street in the city's port richmond section police say two shooters walked up onto the porch and fired at least eight shots into a home striking a 19 year old man and a 49 year old man the 19 year old victim later died at the hospital the 49 year old man who police say maybe the father of the teenager was listed in critical condition but ended up surviving. The victim was later identified as notorious 39th Street shooter Sid, along with his father, but it did not end there. Minutes after the gunfire rang out, police were close by and responded, and a witness was able to alert the police to an area where the shooters fled. Soon after, officers found a male suspect running, basically discovered him under a car. That's when the suspect started shooting back at officers, according to investigators. Fortunately for him, none of those shots ended up hitting the police officers, but he ended up getting caught and arrested for that murder, along with the other murder that we previously talked about. So he's currently in jail facing two bodies. And as you guessed it, YBC Duel and YFA member F5 made sure to immediately start dissing the deceased 39th Street member in a series of songs as any drill artist usually does. But having all these things going down, obviously something has to break and it looks like the downfall of YBC happened fairly quickly after this. Although in 2021, YBC was up on the scoreboard, it seemed like the following years would contribute to the utter downfall of the gang with over a dozen members of YBC either getting taken out by rival gangs or going to jail. Although, they released some of their biggest songs and still alive in 2022. Things were getting to go downhill as there was too much pressure against them. Lil Dole even speaks in a Say Cheese interview and says that he lost around 19 people to all this gang activity, man, which is honestly crazy. That's like a room full of people. Apparently, it was this pressure that caused him to click up with the notorious gang out of North Philly, PNB, the gang where PNB Rock was based out of. However, this would just make things even more difficult because when you click up with another gang, yeah, you get their resources, but you also get their enemies. It was also along this time where YBC members would start to see the consequences of their actions, eventually follow them to the grave or the jail cell. First, it was the death of BK, AKA Baby Kai, a YBC member who was followed and gunned down while doing weed deliveries. Members of CCK, taunted this shooting and dropped mad disses that literally talked about how the exact events unfolded. Shortly after this YBC member Eam Stacks was allegedly shot multiple times in a failed drill that left him with life changing injuries. And shortly after this, tragedy struck very close to YBC duel when his cousin and very close collaborator Da Fetty was gunned down in the summer of 2022. According to officials, 
Police were called to the 500 block of West Bristol Street in Philadelphia's Hunting Park neighborhood just before 1 p.m. on the reported end of a shooting. Police rushed him to Temple University Hospital where he died. Although, with all this tragedy striking in just a year, the incident that seemed to affect the group the most was the passing of beloved member J100, or Tajay Brooks, his real name, was unfortunately gunned down on December 5th, 2022, ending the year in a wild fashion of bloodshed. Philadelphia police officers responded to the 4300 block of Paris Street and found Tajay Brooks lying in the street. He was suffering from several gunshot wounds he was then transported to Penn Presbyterian Medical Center where he was pronounced dead. And as you guess it, the ops took no time and started dissing him and his death, referring to him as Boots for basically posting pictures and showing that he had boots on when he died. Man, this is one of the craziest scenes that I've seen in a while. Honestly, the only way that I can compare this is like the Chicago scene that was going on in the early 2000s. But as you see with them, everyone pretty much from that scene either died or ended up getting indicted on some crazy shit. But it took years for them to even get to that point. The Philly scene is so crash out and learned from the mistakes of the Chicago scene yet still kept doing the same things yet worse. And pretty much all of them are pretty done. You know, YBC Duel, even though he posts this video, apparently can no longer stay in Philadelphia and is ended up going to California. Because as you can see, your lifespan is dramatically decreasing every day that you're in Philadelphia in this scene. Too much blood has already been shed. And of course, along the way, there were several attempts to treaties with a lot of these gangs, but none of them ended up panning out. YBC at the time probably felt that they were up on the scoreboard and thought that they were invincible or just didn't really care and were just ready to crash. And it ended up affecting them with other gangs that were just as terrible, just as terrorizing as them. Honestly, it's really sad that these young black men end up killing each other over stuff that doesn't even matter. It's not over money. It's not over drugs. It's literally just for the sake of killing each other. But at the end of the day, the reason why I made this video is a lot because of the fact that when you look at these news clips and you look at the stories of these people, they shed very little context to the ongoing situation and they a lot of their deaths end up getting just being, you know, like a small little statement on the bottom of a news page with no real video or anything like that. When I feel like these people were significant enough to at least warrant a little bit more than that, you know, and that's the crazy thing about this. I feel like Philly is kind of like a forgotten city. People think of like Meek Mill, PNB, Rock, Lil Uzi and stuff like that. But they don't think about the ongoing underground scene that is pretty buzzing and pretty popular within their city. I don't know if it will ever get mainstream, but you know, you never be surprised. Maybe something goes viral and I guess that's what YBC Duel was trying to do. But bro was so far gone lost losing his cousin, close friends and 19 people around him that he probably doesn't even care. But he took the time to leave the city, which is honestly the smartest move that he could have done. And honestly, that's all you really can do. I'm not sure if he was ever really the one going out and doing the shootings, but he was definitely associated and knew about all the stuff going on. So at the end of the day, I guess that makes him complicit in it. But his video, when you look at it, you gotta understand the context behind it, man. But hey, let me know in the comments what y'all think about this, man. Real estate, say shit. You already know what's going on. Like, comment, subscribe. You already know what to do, man. Hit that notification bell so whatever I post, y'all tune in right away, man. Gang, let's get it.